Your mouth and throat are awesome, and we're going to show you one of the cleverest tricks your body does every time you eat. Swallowing. And if you're thinking, what's the big deal with swallowing, well here's the thing. Your lungs and stomach actually share part of the same tube. Your mouth and throat go into one tube that then splits so that you can eat and breathe through the same hole. You might be thinking, because everything goes in through the throat, this could get pretty disastrous with all your food ending up in your lungs, right? Wrong. He's right. Never fear. You actually have a super duper clever bit of body kit that stops this happening. It's called an epiglottis. And to show you how it works, I'm going to put a camera up Chris's nose and down into his throat. This is a transnasal esophagoscopic camera. That's a bit of a mouthful, but what it means is it can go up through your nose and down into your esophagus, which is the tube that carries food to your tummy. Now, even if you do have a transnasal esophagoscopic camera lying around at home, you still shouldn't try this yourself. We are responsible doctors, and only people like us can use transnasal esophagoscopic cameras. You like saying that, don't you? Yes. OK, are you ready? OK, so we've just gone into Chris's nose. You can see a few hairs there, a few bogeys. You might want to save those for tea later. I can actually see the camera at the back of Chris's throat. It's like a cave in there. This here is actually the dangly bit at the back of your throat. It's called the uvula. Now we're going further in. So this here, that's his tongue. And just behind that is a pink flap, the epiglottis, that folds over when we swallow. Hello, Chris's epiglottis. You're right down there. Still doing a good job. Now, at the moment, it's open because he's breathing letting air into his lungs. The minute he swallows, it'll really quickly close to prevent any food or liquid going into his lungs and divert it all down into his tummy. You'll be able to see it much better if he has some soup. You ready for some soup, Chris? Yeah. Right. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Is this carrot and coriander? Yes. Your favourite? You know I hate that. What? Here what? we go. Yum, yum, yum. So you can actually see the spoon with the soup in it going into his mouth. We're putting the soup in. And now, watch the epiglottis when he swallows. There, you see it moves really quickly, closes off his lungs completely, so that all the soup goes down into his tummy. Let's see that again. There's the windpipe. Here comes the soup. There, the epiglottis closes. The soup goes down. Yum. The epiglottis opens. Job done. You actually swallow about 600 times a day. Sometimes when you're eating, and sometimes when you're just swallowing your own saliva. So we've shown you how your epiglottis stops you getting lungs full of food and spit. But what if you were upside down? Well, there's another body part that stops your food going up when you're upside down. You mean down? No, up. 